Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Wrist from Off The Cuff. Today we have another update from the brand Haviston. Um, and in case you haven't been watching the channel, Haviston I think are some of the best strap makers out there when it comes to these military style nylon straps. Many of them are kind of known as the NATO strap. Um, but what I think is really nice that Havison has done, they've really reinvented and refined the NATO, the classic NATO. So now these are um, really cool. I love their kind of, uh, there's a story behind each design. You know, none of them are, you know, it's not a coincidence. And the more and more I follow this brand, the more I realize there is no coincidence, uh, accidents, I should say, or coincidences when it comes to their design process. And, um, uh, they've really just continued to impress me and they really closed the loop. So one of the things that uh, if you've paid attention to the channel, you know, they kind of came out with first that field set, um, which was kind of the, the land. Um, and then they came out with a fleet set, which was the sea. And now they have the flight set, which I'll be reviewing today. Um, so, you know, kind of the air, land and sea. Me as, uh, you know, prior service, um, you know, active duty Marine Corps. I totally get that and I love that about them is that they, they really have a theme in mind. They're not just some, you know, pop up by night kind of strap shop who sourced out a bunch of the same materials you've seen on popular, uh, you know, other popular straps and just kind of put their own name on it. There's a story, there's, a, there's you know, a design process, there's a certain aesthetic that they have and they execute so, so well um, that they really have just made a, ma a name for themselves. And, you know, they're some of the top nylon straps that are out there um, on the market today. And not only do they keep updating the actual, um, their designs offering more and more um the nice thing is that they also have been updating the hardware so you'll see also this is their latest iteration of hardware and it is quite impressive so with that said let's go ahead and uh take a closer look and get some of these okay first hand. thing you'll notice is actually for the backdrop of this video i'm actually using um their really cool m12 tool watch roll so the nice thing is you can actually store your watches here in these little slots everything folds up really nice and tidy so really great um i thought i would uh, share that with you guys again and then as far as the whole theme goes uh just to kind of give you a brief kind of quick look as you can see here they started out with kind of that land that field set there um really gorgeous um and then the fleet set which is great you know those divers and whatnot uh kind of water sports oriented watches field watches and then now they have something that is a little bit more specific um for aviation i think all of these also all interchange and cross over extremely well um but now we have the flight set, which is really great. So we have the sector strap and then also uh, the Rondell uh, 43 strap. So really cool. Just thought I'd bring that into frame really fast. There's just so much good stuff um, when it comes to this particular brand to look at. Um, so let's go ahead and start off uh, with this Rondell. And then, of course, the two uh, models as far as the watches we're going to have um, on these are both pilot's watches. I thought it was only fitting. And the perfect thing about these straps is they're really designed with that in mind. I mean, look at this. Couldn't be more perfect. You have this great old school Flieger with the, uh, of course, the blued hands there. Blue and then the black goes great with that um, great uh, dark kind of forest green. And then you have this kind of creamy white uh, center line, which also plays off really well of this great uh, C3 loom. So super functional, just absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see now, um, even with updated hardware. So now you can see this is just fully milled. That was not the case just a couple of cycles ago. If you take a look at some of my previous reviews, you'll see that they've even improved that. And then if you look at the uh, actual shape on the hardware, everything is just nicely milled. There's even a fine little chamfer there that you can, the light can catch. So, I mean, they're just going above and beyond with this. Of course, you do have that wonderful sliding keeper so you can actually make this fit a lot better and then the nice thing is it's actually short enough to where you shouldn't have to fold it back over but if you have a small wrist like i actually put one of these on one of my son's watches um and since he does have a really small wrist he was able to fold it over but for me with a larger wrist with my seven and a half inch wrist um it actually i didn't need to actually fold it over so that's one of the beautiful things about this strap is where they've actually ergonomically redesigned 
these. So what I'll do is on camera, I'll actually get it and uh, and get it on wrist here uh, for you so you can see where everything lines up versus kind of the standard classic NATO. So you put it on and the nice thing is look at where that strap now is. Uh, the the buckle see where the closure is it's right where a regular strap would be versus like all off to the side and everything packed in on the side right there now it's just perfectly done right here I can slide that keeper up and look at that it's it's almost like wearing a two-piece strap as far as the way the comfort goes so really nice it gives you just a little bit of um, you know if you want to have that I really could fold it back under if I wanted to but I actually think that little loose end uh, adds a nice little kind of look and dimension to the strap I think it looks absolutely gorgeous as you can see down here really nice and this is just a super versatile line. I mean, that hint of blue just perfectly ties in. So if you have, you know, any Flieger style watch, this is basically the perfect strap for it um, because you're going to have, you know, that dark green, you're going to have the cream to go with the loom. And then now to set off those beautiful blued hands, you're going to even have those blue stripes. So just, I mean, you've just outdone yourselves, uh, Haviston. Um, Again and again, from a design perspective, I really applaud these guys. And then uh, one of the another uh, one here, moving on um, to the other design here, the sector, I believe it was. Um, again, updated hardware, absolutely immaculate. Still got the all everything great, but now um, with a new look. And then I've decided to pair it with this great kind of anthracite dial, um, which is also a popular color for aviation watches. It's kind of that gray, um, you know, even a muted gray would look perfect on this. But I think with the kind of sunburst effect there, oh, I can get it. There we go. With the sunburst effect of this Oris Big Crown Pro, Pro Pilot, um, also, you know, there's tons of Zins that have a, a similar look to them. Um, as far as that anthracite color, um, it, it really pairs really so well with this because I think the sheen and kind of the light playfulness with it, even though, again, it's very specific with its color palette, it's actually really versatile. I mean, this can pretty much go with anything, you know, a light pair of jeans. You don't necessarily have to be wearing something that's going to match all, all of these tones exactly because what it does is this thing just sets off all that you know all the different tones and all the play of light that's on this watch from the steel you know and the brushed finishes and whatnot some of the poly higher polish it all plays with the light there in a similar fashion and then that dial so really cool let me go ahead and put this on my uh, left wrist I'm left-handed so this is a little bit tough uh, to do this on camera so I'm just gonna be brave <laughs> ah okay so what I'll do is link this through here. As you can see, even with my off hand, still able to uh, manipulate there pretty easily. And then again, it's just as simple as putting it through. No more worrying about the folding, at least not for me because of my wrist size. I can just have that taper in right there. And that just looks absolutely gorgeous. I do wear my straps a little bit lower on the wrist. Um, I understand that that's not the traditional way to do it. I do like to just have a little bit of space on there so that my, uh, so basically that the watch can move a little bit. Not where it's bouncing around, but basically where it can travel a, a down the wrist bone if it needs to, uh, or, you know, it can go over it and then be closer to my wrist. Doesn't really bother me too much. Um, so I think these pieces look absolutely gorgeous, as you can see again with the uh, awesome. Uh, thing, as the backdrop here and then of course got to have the field notes and, and a little pen I do want to return to doing a little bit more EDC related content for the channel Let me know in the com in the comments below if and when you're ready for that um, But of course the main thing is going to be the watches you get this nice roll here Just again to highlight this piece because such a fantastic thing that I just use all the time um, you know, whether I'm, I'm kind of traveling or going to a watch meet or something, I have a couple different roles and this is definitely one for, of course, if you don't have it on a bracelet, if you're a strap beast, this is perfect for those kind of, you know, all those military, all those field watches, um, aviation watches. But again, everything's just real tidy, real nice, rugged. And then it also makes a great backdrop, I think, for this particular piece. 
um, for the, I should say these pieces, these uh, really nicely done um, straps. Really, again, it, it all kind of ties in, uh, which is one of my favorite things, is that there's just a, uh, an attention to detail and just a purposeful, um, you know, uh, just nature of their design um, and their aesthetic is, is just super readable. You always know when it's going to be a Haviston uh, product, uh, even though they've expanded their lines, you know, quite a bit and whatnot. I, I just think that what they're doing, as you can see, I mean, everything you loved about the Haviston strap, still there. I mean, it's only getting better with pretty much every batch that they do. And then um, they're even offering even more colors and more colorways that can just, um, that are really awesome and I think specific in a way that, you know, for your full collection, if you have field watches, aviation watches, it almost makes it easier for you to choose what strap goes on because, um, you know, th these are just kind of meant to pair together. I think they just uh, wear so extremely well. Again, that buckle placement, that is a big game changer for the, the kind of that nylon NATO strap family if you guys have ever worn nato straps you know that these end up way over here onto the side the bulk is all folded over here um, so really nice to just kind of have a very smooth aesthetic also not adding tons of thickness of course under these watches um, so it's still riding the wrist extremely well so let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you guys um you know do you guys continuing to love the Haviston releases like I am? Uh, what do you guys think about these particular color palettes? What would you pair them with? If you like the video, please do hit like. And if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys.